Welcome back everybody to Tuesdays with Puddin' Head. This week I'm playing my Force Master aggro book versus Romeo Zero's Araxian Crown Warlock. And I made some adjustments to this book and kind of left it alone for a little bit. And I seem to have um, gotten rid of all my mana crystals. Which may not matter, but it also might be a problem. So, we are going to pick some spells. I think we're going to go with Battleforge and go nice. Because we're probably going to get burned. Alright, let's do this. that galvanize so that when we do get burned or rotted or tainted or whatever dazed stunned slammed we can get rid of it and surprise mana crystal and mana crystal alright I'm going to drop my battle forge right here where I am Put on some armor, deployment phase, using my battle forge, put on some leather boots. And I'm gonna pass my first quick cast, I think, depending on what he does. I could brace myself just in case, but he probably thinks I have one on already. I do have armor on, I do have a deflect. Most range two spells are deflectable, so I'm just gonna leave it be. He's got 20 mana, which is a lot. Double crystal is really good for the beginning of the game. It doesn't give away what you're doing and keeps your channeling up and gives you a lot of mana for second turn after you've seen a little bit of what. Oh, zombies, well that's interesting. Okay, no creature action for him. All right, I'm gonna do this. Boom, and we'll enchant herself again. Alright, we are in the deploy phase. I am deploying for my Battle Forging Moongol Amulet. And I have repaired redistributed power and telekinetic bomb to use my last six mana. And we will see what goes on here. Still got 18 mana. He might just be cranking out brutes. Which is okay. Um, I don't feel the need to quick guess right now. Q. 
can't. I'm just going to do this. And put that on myself. Done. What's up, Coach Shade? I just, I was gonna force pull the brute in and attack it with the stalker, but it is better to wait until, yeah, I thought he was just gonna stand there. All right, um, ring of fire shaping, nice. Just in case. Um, I wonder if he has a nullify on himself. I think I'm gonna probe for nullify right now. So it was, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Loud Switch. and clear. What is going on? Like super loud. This looks like a pretty sweet Forest Master game. Well, we'll see. Uh, zombie brutes have always been bad for me. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Dodge him. Yeah. Or defense good. him. Actually, no, I'm sorry, you don't you don't dodge them in this. You actually just, like, move their attack out of the way um, with a I'm, deflect. Um, let's see. Yeah, you just use your telekinesis to deflect those, those yeah, right? mangling claws. <clears throat> well, I'm so, not worried about piercing. Until they pierce your heart. The question is, do I put on a Galvatar this turn? Or do I wait a turn? I think what he's Galvatar doing... can slice up slice up zombies pretty fast. It's true. But I think what he's doing right now is just cranking out zombie brutes. Oh yeah. So I think he's I just mean, gonna keep casting them. It's a pretty good strategy, <laughs> you know, like four to six dice. So my question is... Like every round, at least. Do I plan to Pillar of Righteous Flame and pull something? Ooh. I like the Invisible Stalker, by the way. It gets some nice early aggro. It like, makes him start thinking, oh, he's going to be on me with five dice around very soon. Yeah. Um, if I can, I can put Leather Gloves out this turn. I can... The other thing I could do is drop a force construct and then activate my redistributed power I mean that's awesome you have a force I, construct you know what? I think I think I'm going to do this I, I'm going to do pillar of righteous flame and plan to force pull um, but if I can't force pull what can I do what what kind of force creature do you have? Oh, I got 
golems, scarabs, and uh, oh, nice. So you got like guardians. Cool. Yeah, or I could thought spore. I could thought spore. Problem is, I don't. I'm not running any acid ball, so I can't get guaranteed damage on the zombies. Yeah, that's fair. So I feel like a thought spore is kind of a waste. I mean, if you want to go and try to defend against them, you either kill them with like Galvatar then, or or just get like a. I don't know, force field. Um, what is that? Uh, mind shield? No, not mind shield. The shield uh, one. Oh, the, That's also a good one. What's it? Repulsion field or? No, the uh, the equipment. I forget its name. Oh, the symbiotic orb. The orb, I think it's called. Yeah. Sy symbiotic orb. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I I might symbiotic orb, but it's pretty probably good. Probably not this turn. Those brutes. Um, Hand of Imshallah might be good. But I don't have mana to do Pillar and Hand of Imshallah, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare a Pillar of Righteous Slam and Galvatar, and we'll see which one I need. It sounds like a good plan. I I've been thinking about taking out my uh, my Necropean Vampiris. Um, oh, yeah. And replacing it with a a stalker. I mean, you've got enough creature backup for the stalker now that it might be worth it. That's fair. But the Vampiris is really hard to beat. I mean, not everybody runs those Force Hammers that uh, everybody used to as well, That's though. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right, I have deployed my gloves. So I have two armor against this incoming zombie attack. Nice. Actually, I could have six armor. Ha ha ha. Ooh. Brace yourself. Got a brace. Yeah, it's good, good times. Is he going to force push me? Oh. This one? He's got the uh, Fire Shaper Ring. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the Fire Shaper Ring uh, in the in the Rexian Crown, but um, I totally see why everyone runs it. Like I personally Shoot. just don't. I should have. I should have revealed it. Ooh, is that your force shield? No. Oh no! I'm sorry. It was on him. It's teleconnect bomb. <laughs> I mean, it's one <laughs> for two. It's not bad. You know? No, I, I, I'm not upset. I used it to probe for an LFI. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, that's that's totally fair. And like, if you have like a, I don't know, poison blood or mage bane or something, it makes it totally worth it. Um... Do I cast pillar? this turn. I think I cast Pillar right now. It'll delay. Boom! You gotta put it right there. Yes. That card, man. Wow. Six so normal what, damage. Plus two? So you gotta burn? <laughs> Six normal damage. Uh, no damage. <laughs> zombie brutes, I hate you. It's pretty good. Maybe the burn will do 10 damage. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, no quicks. No more quicks. I'm done with quicks. <laughs> Run yep. away! That's an interesting point uh, to move towards, because now next turn might be useless for him. Now the question is, do I go in here with my Force Master? At the same time, though, he's out of he's out of pulling range. I could pull the Warlock in, though. Ooh, he has if no I armor on. Well, if I activate my Stalker this turn, I might take some attacks, but I could get some damage in on the Warlock. Hmm. Does he have? An ethereal tech. I don't think so. Probably not. I'm gonna go down here and attack the warlock. Yeah, five dice is so nice. Whoops. There we go. Phantom talons. All right, All get right. five damage out five of it. Five damage is average. Now I need to toggle the marker. Can you just double click so these So that things? means... 
toggle we marker spent invisible. 15 plus what three um uh, something like that yeah it's not bad well i mean obviously getting extra is good Ooh. It's okay. I'm going to deflect it. Are Probably you going fine. to pull him into that zone? Oh, yeah. All right. Make it look close. Deflect. Nice. It. All right. Let's get rid of this guard marker. All right. Now. You deflected the attack. Now, do I move closer to the warlock? I think I do. And then we're gonna use. Stats. Question is, what does he? What does he have planned? Force pulled you in, dude. That's right. Nice. Six dice. Maybe I'll get six crit. This oh, time. nice roll. Four crits. I'll take it. Four crits and another burn. That's pretty sweet, man. I bet he hates that card just like everybody else does. <laughs> All right. What are you going to do? Are you going to fire me? almost as hated as the zombie brute. No, here comes another brute. <laughs> <laughs> almost as hated as the brute. <laughs> All right. End of the round. I mean, it seems really simple, Romeo's plan, but, like, it's very potent. Yeah. No, I'm... This is dangerous. This is hella dangerous. And right, these the here. bad news is I can't Galvatar next turn. Oh no, you're mad! Yeah, it's okay. You're protected by the pillar of righteousness. Deployment. We are going to deploy dancing schemitar. Get some more dodge in here. First quick casts. I think I'm going to pass my first quick cast. Scimitar. Can put on some armor, maybe. Ooh, all bones. <laughs> he does not want to come in. Wow, he double stacks Wall of Bones. That's crazy, man. <laughs> okay, so he, he does not want to get anywhere get near pulled that until he's like, all right, we'll delay this. See what happens. All right. That's funny. All right, creature actions. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass. We failed the defense. That's okay. He only did two damage to us. It's all right. We can handle two damage. Pass again. Run away. <laughs> oh, man, he only got two damage on that. I feel sorry for that brute. He's like burning, just like, I cannot hit you, but I want to eat your flesh. Ooh, I guess you have armor. All right, I guess you have a guard. That's fine. Oh, that was a good choice. I mean, you're elusive anyway, so. Well, he gets a counter strike that way. Yeah. All right, I think 
I should probably kill a wall of bones here. And it probably should be the one on the left, unfortunately. Twelve life, though. That sucks. Let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna hit this. Two damage. Wow, scimitar is not worth it right now. Come on. <laughs> I mean, it's three dice, you know. Yeah, three dice that all roll. Basically, blanks. one mana. Yeah, it stinks. Scimitar is like, you cast me the wrong time. I think my octagon is stuck. Yeah, sometimes it's just like there you just go. have to keep now it I can done. Flip the ready marker on that. Yeah, right. Okay. And another guard. All right. I think. Question is: Is it worth it? I might lose my stalker if I attack the warlock right now. He's gonna get two hits on you. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the issue with uh, Invisible Stalker. I think it's worth it. Just because he'll probably do, you know, like three or four damage. I mean, he could get lucky and kill you, but that's probably not going to happen off of uh, eight dice. Just because, like, uh, Incaporo is actually really good if you don't have Ethereal. And he got five extra damage out of it. So I reckon. Unless you'd be able to brace yourself right now. Yeah, let's see how he does here. This is a big roll, actually. Ah, he gets nothing. Nice. All right, well, that's helpful. Yeah, that is... Now I can't die. Just as annoying as, as resilient <laughs> in this case. All right, he's got the brute, too. A regard. Oh, that's interesting. I uh, you should. You should really attack. Yep. Oh, he's going to go up. Okay, that's not bad. That's okay. fine. He probably wants to intercept you, I guess. Done with planning. Done with deploy. I'm not going to deploy. Oh, that's the play. I wasn't thinking about this, but that is totally the play. Mind's mm -hmm. Eye, using my action, and then during final quick cast, I can teleport him into the pillar. So he will have taken his action already. Oh, yeah, it's not a bad idea. So I'll get two shots off on him. At four I mean, dice I guess you could, you could still double move and just teleport anyway. I guess you're open up to the, the brute, though, if you do that. If I double move and teleport, that means that he's going to um, get a chance move to move out, out of the pillar. Yeah. So I get two shots of the pillar. Of course, if he moves too far away, then I won't be able to do it anyway. Ah, well. We'll see what it does. 
Gonna take some actions. My invisible stalker can't be targeted. That is, I really like that about the stalker. Yeah, You're it's just, it's that mind game that you play. You gotta leave, and everyone's sort of playing. Yeah, gotta leave me alone. Oh, he's gonna try and kill the forge, huh? Interesting. Surging wave. No oh, acid ball. All right. Acid ball. Wow. He's gonna brute kill it. All right. Oh, Hawkeye. Uh huh. And one crowed. Dang, dude. That I feel bad for him. Sucks. Yeah, that is a uh, unfortunate vibe. Yeah, usually, when I cast an acid ball, I get at least two crit. Yeah, right. <laughs> Something to make up for that one crowed. Yeah, man. All right. Hey, what's up, Cher? Sure? What's going on? He's gonna move and guard. Okay. We're watching this Force Master game. Yeah. Okay. The counter to pillar is apparently just walls, man. You just you can't be touched. All right. Well, we're gonna keep great. attacking yeah. this warlock. <laughs> yeah, the counter to pillar is not getting hit by the pillar. Dude, <laughs> snap seven Whoa, damage. That was yeah, a lot dude, of damage. Stalker sucks. I don't know why anybody uses it. <laughs> Stalker is awesome. Dude, he is. Look at how much damage he's gotten on him, man. That's nuts. Yeah, yeah that's why I love the stalker. It's totally worth a mana. In the uh, three games I have now played with that Force Master I built the other day, yeah, right. it has been MVP. I I, I was telling Putin I'm thinking about taking out my uh, my Vampiris and just putting a Stalker and a bunch of other stuff. The Stalker yeah, I don't have plays, anything out of school. The Stalker plays very differently than the Vampiris, so you'll have to yes, re yes, retool right. some stuff. I I've been using the Vampiris less and less. I love uh, the honestly, vampires, so oh, she's oh, a lot. Of fun. I like the vampires too, but that stalker's a badass. Well, <laughs> I have just... a book that's like stalker vampires. What are you gonna do, bro? <laughs> yeah, too. yeah, right. Um, that's and that's I legit. Redistributed power, oh. all three of us. Uh, so you hit Control I over your stalker. Oh yeah. Sorry. Aha! Uh -huh. No, he's not. He's the visible stalker. <laughs> Oh, Romeo, you have made a critical error. Uh-oh. He's committed, man. Is that where you wanted him? He is committed. That is exactly where I want I, Well, I wanted him to use his action. Because oh, my, nice. my two spells... He's got the teleport. My two yeah, spells are Mind's Eye and Teleport. I, I nice. wonder why he really wants to kill his forge. I don't know. Oh, well, he thinks it's good... I don't know. Uh, my assumption is that he thinks it's part of the... Or the biggest part of the strategy. Or the way to derail, you know what I mean? Boom. I'm gonna place it there. Ready. I have to. Because I can only I have to target his own. Uh it is zero to two, so you can target yeah, your battle okay. forward zone. I don't that's why he's there. asking. I'm just saying that's why he's asking. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's the other option. He just wants the options, man. The options. Boop. You can jump in <laughs> here with me. <laughs> oh, hi. Mind's Eye Teleport is so so cool. It is cool. It turns out the counter to, to the walls that counters Pillar is to just have something flying teleport stuff around. <laughs> and a burn. The meta, and the meta of the use, meta. The scimitar. That pillar. Ooh, Ooh this is yeah. this is scary that, damage. That upkeep is like, gonna be rough too. He might he might be dead next next round. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Upkeep followed. Oh, by. that's Scimitar. Oh, kill zero. Scimitar's done no damage oh, all game. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Do you have boulders? Uh, no. I don't. Uh, okay. Or force so you, or something. Uh, Boulder like equivalent. So you don't get that last attack, right? Because you remove the last one, it dies. No, you, you, you do. don't get the attack. You, oh, you do? totally get the last attack. It's a, it's a triggered effect basically you so i guess like attack. so you it's so like you remove it, it the and then you have the choice of discarding or attacking is that what's going on there? discarding or destroying I think it's, yeah, yeah. you remove it you attack and then because you have to do two things at once so you choose which dang, one dang romeo those brutes they aren't working out it's it's like weird no Honestly, i'm not they sure do 150 percent damage when i'm watching dude <laughs> this brute is like why can i not kill the guy at the battle forge well i mean two damage on four dice is actually relatively average Yeah, I mean, should have gotten two or yeah, three. Yeah, I'll hit you now. That's fine. Hit me now. <laughs> I like it. 
Oh, <laughs> didn't get the burn, but you have the days. Dang. Which the days is super important. Yeah. And you can't actually teleport your stalker next round because nah. he's invisible. No, nah, I can't. Although I could move and attack something, and then teleport. Yeah, him, yeah. But it's not worth. It. It's true. Not worth. I don't think it's worth it. Well, yeah, you, it you should clearly attack yourself so you don't have to risk the guard counterattacking. It might be worth it actually if you can get a hold of the. Artifacts on my screen. <laughs> if you can get the um, brew, and then teleport the stalker over to you. I mean, honestly, it may it may not be a bad play. Yeah, you know, I don't need the stalker right now. Uh, he's or he's gonna die next round. If you really round. want, you can attack the wall. Just I mean, I think he just Galvatar's next round and just wins. Yeah, I still think putting your stalker in a good position is not a bad idea, though. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. Oh, you're saying Galvatar? Yeah, I didn't think of Galvatar. Yeah, definitely gonna be. Do you have like a bear strength on you? No, a redistributed power. Oh, that, that works. That definitely works. Yeah, except that quick I cast a cobra. I don't have a cobra, unfortunately. Oh, I no. need to be done with my creature actions and all my other actions and all the things. How do you normally power it then? Um, I use up, I, I decided to take a different take with this book and see if I could run with a Sans Cobra. So basically redistributed power is more expensive for me, but right. the creatures okay. are doing enough damage and taking enough hits that when they right, die, I... I can pop redistributed power. Does that make sense? Yeah. I was just meaning which, uh, which creatures you're running. Oh, I got Force Golem, Psionic Scarab, and Tomb Guardian, Thoughts War, and Invisible Stalker. So. I think I run three of those. Um, and then I run two Cobras. Keep for Scimitar, I'll keep for Stalker. Heck, the Cobra I had the other day did um, two critical damage twice in a row. I think I <laughs> so. need a Psy Orb in here. Dude, dude, you totally do. Yeah, it would have saved you a ton of mana this whole game. Yeah, it definitely would have. Because it's how much mana? Like four, I think, to cast or something like that? It's seven. It was a seven? Yeah. It's, so, it's, I mean, it probably would have uh, probably saved you like one by now. It, it it's turn seven. It, it, yeah. it would have been about close, yeah. It, yeah. it depends on how many things you're using. And usually, at least the way I build mine, I, I end up making nine, the mana up, even after almost five, seven or eight. Yeah, yeah that's fair. I could hand of Imshallah. <sighs> But I mean, there was there was one around that your battle board didn't do anything, you know. That could have been that. Yeah. Battle Forge is interesting. Would you lead with Battle Forge? Battle Forge and um, galvanize on myself. Ah, uh, okay. I realized as soon as I loaded this book that I had actually failed to. Um, Put on, put any mana crystals in here, <laughs> <laughs> hey man. So, you know, that's funny. Did we just lose Justin? I can't hear him anymore. Yeah, he said yeah, and then cut off. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, can you hear I'm me now? The, yeah, I can oh, hear you. Wait, there okay. you are. As I say, you didn't actually need it, which is a uh, an interesting take. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I cool. mean. And I, I like had a version of this book where I had a monk and I had like mana crystals and stuff. But I mean, if I want to get in your face on turn three, I can't mm. do a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the monk is not, garbage, not bad. You know? I take the monk out of my Force Master too. I just never cast it. I mean, if you're doing a slower book where you want to get like a Vampiris and a Stalker and your yeah. Orb out and stuff. Then... I don't know. The monk is a three spellbook point crystal at that point. No, in, it's, this, it's, in this kind of a book. No, it's not. It's a mind oh, creature. no, he's a mind creature. Never mind. I'm yeah, sorry. it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. I still need coffee. I mean, I, I did the... Basically, I did the Vampirus at like, one of Tim's weekends thing, and like I really enjoyed it a lot. And then I She's sort of took from that. Yeah, she really is. And I just kind of took for that, and I went, okay, I'll keep it in, but I just haven't been casting her ever since Force Master Academy came out. She's a tough cut from Trogdor. Right, oh, yeah. So I can see that. I've got... Um, Poison Blood and Rust planned for this turn, and Galvatar from the Forge. Oh, you have the Forge. I was like, how the hell are you going to Galvatar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Galvatar. And there's no wall in the way. 
I think against line Romeo. Yeah. Those are good plans. That's what I was going to go with. And it's your initiative, so... Yeah, so I just can... Just wall him in. That's just awesome, man. You're I, just wall him in. I could have forced walled him in if I had put force walls in here. <laughs> that actually would have been pretty cool. If I had put force walls in here, I might have done that. Now you're trapped in here with me. <laughs> He's probably got a teleport going on right now. That's why you get a double wall. Yeah. Yeah, teleport would make a lot of sense. Yeah, there's some things that I've cut from this book in order to fit these psychic creatures in here, these constructs, that I don't know if I should have cut. Um, I'm not sure teleport is his best play. You're still going to get to Galvatar. And if not... No, because he's got first can... quick gust. Is it not purple turn? It is, but he can first quick okay. cast teleport. Yeah, okay, sorry. I, was, I wasn't done yet. So, And if he does teleport, that's only two zones away from... From which you can pull him back. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind if he wasted six mana on a teleport, but Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So you just force pull him back and his teleport basically. And hit him with anything. hit him with something, yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, the teleport would be no good at that point. All right, could do. Is or you can pull him into the stalker. Yeah, I pulled him into the case. stalker. That's what I do. I mean oh, that'd be <laughs> so you have good. a lot of options here. That would be so good. I love running redistributed power on my stalker, dude. Seven dice. <laughs> Yeah, Invisible. it's definitely worth. I it's just, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird it. targeting him though, right? Because like you got to attack first you and then cast you hit something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's almost always an opportunity early game to hit something. That's fair. At the yeah. end of a turn, and then quick cast redistribute the power on him. I wonder if he's gonna. The next turn, you if you bring a cobra, quick cast cobra on your off. Yeah. Turn, you know, something main, and then quick cast a cobra, that's, and then. That's pretty sweet, something. actually. That yeah. would be pretty hilarious if he decided to um, dissolve my Galvatar right now. Oh, that'd be awesome. Because he knew <laughs> oh my it was God, coming. I, love that. <laughs> I, I kind of love that, actually. <laughs> the problem is I have a nullify on. Oh, no, I don't. I didn't cast it last turn. So I don't have a nullify, so you'd get away with it. Mm, that's okay. Sweeping Strike Thought Spore with on your Invisible Soccer would actually be pretty sweet. Oh shit! Oh no, Here you can actually comes. cast him. Never mind, you can actually do that. Double strike. Ethereum. Oh yeah, this is this is what every Force Master dreams of right here. <laughs> Did you lead with the rust or would lead with the rust? Blood? Doesn't even have armor. Because I figured he could cast armor. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that God. damage! <laughs> that one Dude, away. What the? Watch crap. the scimitar oh, blanket again. If the burn kills him. That'd be so sweet. Watch the scimitar blank again. <laughs> Oh yeah, you have the scimitar. That That's would be man. hilarious. It does not want to kill him. <laughs> the, the pacifist scimitar. Alright, right. you just gotta get one out of zero armor. Three dice. Do this. Yes! Four nice. damage. He was saving it, it all up. Earlier. That was yeah. a solid game, man. Yeah, Nicely done. Legit. From the whole two turns I saw. <laughs> well, he basically sat on uh, right south of himself he sat there and cast three brutes <laughs> and i was like thing. oh crap because <laughs> you know brutes and me they don't we don't get along yeah not at all except the one time you have eye for an eye on yeah, well, oh yeah see That's they just brutal. don't get it wrong get along. <laughs> Yeah, dude, Putin, that was a solid game. Yeah, that was legit. It's kind of cool seeing um, different a different Force Master played, because I've been playing mine lately, which plays a heck of a lot differently. Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah, yeah anytime you're using DOTs and stuff like that, you you have yeah. to take it a lot slower. Oh, man, DOT Force Master I mean, is so actually, fun, though. Actually, they, they both have been in about the same amount of time. It's just a different rhythm. Hmm. Which is just cool watching. Just the differences. All right. Well, that has been Tuesdays with Puddin' Head. Thanks for the game, Romeo. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Rock on. We'll see you all <laughs> next time. Bye.